Conversion and its related terms yield and selectivity are important terms in chemical reaction engineering. They are described as ratios of how much of a reactant has reacted X conversion, normally between 0 and 1, how much of a desired product was formed y yield, normally also between 0 and 1 and how much desired product was formed in ratio to the undesired products s selectivity. There are conflicting definitions in the literature for selectivity and yield, so each author's intended definition should be verified. Conversion can be defined for semi batch and continuous reactors and as instantaneous and overall conversion. Topic: <laughs> Assumptions. The following assumptions are made. The following chemical reaction takes place. I equals 1 n new I A I equals J equals one M mu J B J Display style sum underscore I equals one carrot N new underscore I A underscore I equals sum underscore J equals one carrot M mu underscore J B underscore J where new I display style new underscore I and mu J display style mu underscore J are the stoichiometric coefficients. For multiple parallel reactions, the definitions can also be applied, either per reaction or using the limiting reaction. Batch reaction assumes all reactants are added at the beginning. Semi-batch reaction assumes some reactants are added at the beginning, the rest is fed during the batch. Continuous reaction assumes reactants are fed and products leave the reactor continuously and in steady state. topic conversion conversion can be separated into instantaneous conversion and overall conversion for continuous processes the two are the same for batch and semi batch there are important differences furthermore for multiple reactants conversion can be defined overall or per reactant topic Instantaneous conversion Topic <inaudible> semi batch In this setting there are different definitions one definition regards the instantaneous conversion as the ratio of the instantaneously converted amount to the amount fed at any point in time x i inst equals n i react n i in display style x underscore i text inst equals frac dot n underscore i text react dot n underscore i text in with n i display style dot n underscore i as the change of moles with time of species i this ratio can become larger than 1 it can be used to indicate whether reservoirs are built up and it is ideally close to 1 when the feed stops its value is not defined in semi batch polymerization the instantaneous conversion is defined as the total mass of polymer divided by the total mass of monomer fed x poly equals m pol i 0 t m i in tau d tau Display style x underscore text poly equals frac m underscore text pol sum underscore i int underscore zero carrot t dot m underscore i text int tau d tau.
Topic: <laughs> Overall conversion. Topic: <laughs> Batch. This is the generally stated form. X I equals N I T equals zero minus N I T N I T equals zero equals one minus N I T N I T equals zero Display style x underscore i equals frac n underscore i t equals zero n underscore i t n underscore i t equals zero equals one frac n underscore i t n underscore i t equals zero. Topic semi batch. Total conversion of the formulation x i equals N I T equals zero plus zero T N I in Tau D Tau minus N I T N I T equals zero plus zero T end N I in Tau D Tau Display style x underscore i equals frac n underscore i t equals zero plus int underscore zero carrot t dot n underscore i text in tau d tau n underscore i t n underscore i t equals zero plus int underscore zero carrot t underscore text end dot n underscore i text in tau d tau total conversion of the fed reactants x i equals n i t equals zero plus zero T N I in Tau D Tau minus N I T N I T equals zero plus Zero T N I in Tau D Tau Display style x underscore i equals frac n underscore i t equals zero plus int underscore zero carrot t dot n underscore i text in tau d tau n underscore i t n underscore i t equals zero plus int underscore zero carrot t dot n underscore i text in tau d tau. Topic continuous. This is the generally stated form. X I equals N I I N minus N I O U T N I I N equals one minus N I O U T N I I N 
Display style x underscore i equals frac dot n underscore i in dot n underscore i out dot n underscore i in equals one frac dot n underscore i out dot n underscore i in. Topic yield. Yield in general refers to the amount of a specific product P in one m formed per mole of reactant consumed. Definition one. However, it is also defined as the amount of product produced per amount of product that could be produced definition two. If not all of the limiting reactant has reacted, the two definitions contradict each other. Combining those two also means that stoichiometry needs to be taken into account and that yield has to be based on the limiting reactant K in 1. N. Topic: Continuous Y P equals N P out minus N P in N K in minus N K out only for definition one mu K New P display style y underscore p equals frac dot n underscore p text out dot n underscore p text in dot n underscore k text in under brace n underscore k text out underscore text only for definition one left frac mu underscore k new underscore p right the version normally found in the literature y p equals n p out minus n p in n k in mu k new p Display style y underscore p equals frac dot n underscore p text out dot n underscore p text in dot n underscore k text in left frac mu underscore k new underscore p right. Topic selectivity. Instantaneous selectivity is the production rate of one component per production rate of another component. For overall selectivity the same problem of the conflicting definitions exists. Generally, it is defined as the number of moles of desired product per the number of moles of undesired product definition one. However, the definitions of the total amount of reactant to form a product per total amount of reactant consumed is used definition two, as well as the total amount of desired product formed per total amount of limiting reactant consumed definition three. This last definition is the same as definition 1 for yield. <laughs> batch or semi-batch The version normally found in the literature S P equals N P T equals zero minus N P T N K T equals zero plus 0 t n k in tau d tau minus n k t mu k nu p Display style s underscore p equals frac n underscore p t equals zero n underscore p t n underscore k t equals zero plus int underscore zero carrot t dot n underscore k text in tau d tau n underscore k t left frac mu underscore k new underscore p right. 
Topic: Continuous The version normally found in the literature S P equals N P out minus N P in N K in minus N K out mu K new P display style s underscore P equals frac dot n underscore P text out dot n underscore P text in dot n underscore K text in n underscore K text out left frac mu underscore K new underscore P right topic combination For batch and continuous reactors, semi-batch needs to be checked more carefully, and the definitions marked as the ones generally found in the literature, the three concepts can be combined. Y P equals X I S P display style Y underscore P equals X underscore I C D O T S underscore P for a process with the only reaction a b display style c e to b this mean that s equals 1 and y equals x topic <laughs> <laughs> abstract example For the following abstract example and the amounts depicted on the right, the following calculation can be performed with the above definitions, either in batch or a continuous reactor. A B display style C E to B A C display style C E A to C B is the desired product. There are 100 moles of A at the beginning or at the entry to the continuous reactor and 10 moles A, 72 moles B and 18 moles C at the end of the reaction or the exit of the continuous reactor. The three properties are found to be X A equals N A T equals 0 minus N a T N A T equals zero equals one minus N A T N A T equals zero equals one hundred minus ten one hundred equals zero point nine equals ninety per cent Display style x underscore C E A equals frac N underscore C E A T equals zero N underscore A T N underscore C E A T equals zero equals one frac N underscore C E A T N underscore C E A T equals zero equals frac one hundred to ten one hundred equals zero nine equals ninety per cent Y B equals N B T minus N B T equals zero N A T equals zero plus zero T N A Tau D Tau Mu K New P equals seventy two minus zero one hundred 
plus zero one one equals zero point seven two equals seventy two percent Display style y underscore c e b equals frac n underscore c e b t n underscore c e b t equals zero n underscore c e a t equals zero plus int underscore zero carrot t dot n underscore c e a int tau d tau left frac mu underscore k new underscore p right equals frac seventy two to zero one hundred plus zero c d o t frac one one equals zero 72 equals 72 percent s b equals n b t equals 0 minus n b t n a t equals 0 minus n a t mu k nu p equals 0 minus 72 100 minus 10 1 1 equals 0 0.8 equals 80 percent Display style s underscore c e b equals frac n underscore c e b t equals zero dot n underscore c e b t dot n underscore c e a t equals zero n underscore c e a t left frac mu underscore k new underscore p right equals frac zero to seventy two one hundred to ten c d o t frac one one equals zero point eight equals eighty percent the property y p equals x i s p display style y underscore p equals x underscore i c d o t s underscore p holds. In this reaction, 90% of substance A is converted consumed, but only 80% of the 90% is converted to the desired substance B and 20% to undesired by products C. So, conversion of A is 90%, selectivity for B 80% and yield of substance B 72%. Literature <inaudible> 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 Werner Kulbach, Mengenberechnungen in der Chemie. Verlag Chemie, Weinheim 1980, ISBN 3-527-25869-8 Eberhard Australian, Burkhard Bittner, Stoichiometry, Chemisches Rechnen, Cicero Verlag, Pegnitz, 4. Orflage, 2011, ISBN 978-3-926292-47-6 Uwe Hillebrand, Stoichiometry, Einer Einführung in die Grundlagen MIT Basebilen und Übungsaufgaben, 2. AUFL. Springer Verlag, Berlin Heidelberg 2009, ISBN 978 3 642 9